If you really want to get analytical about what's going on in your database regarding the objects, then you want to use the database documenter. It'll create a report about any or all the objects in the database with controllability on the level of detail including only those objects that are important to you. And for example, you can look at the design, the details of the objects, the properties, relationship, and user or group permissions of selected groups. Well, let me show you. To go ahead and generate this report, come up here and click on the Database Tools tab. Go to the Analyze group. And there it is, Database Documenter. Click on that and go ahead and choose what objects you want to analyze. You can choose all of the tables here and then go to the queries, include one or two there, cherry pick. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it simple. Let's deselect all and just do the customer's table because believe me, the details on just one is quite a bit, at least enough for the purposes of this training video. So let's go ahead and do customer's table. Click okie dokie and there's the report. Click on it to zoom in. There's the name of the table, customers, and down below the properties, alternate back shade, alternate back tint. Great. Wow, that's super detailed. Let's scroll down and look at the fields within the table referred to as columns. So you've got the customer number field, the data type double, and the size is the max eight characters long. And you've got the next field, customer name, short text, the data type, 50 characters, and well, aggregate type allows zero length. If it's set to true, that means yes, it does allow zero length, but it's false, so don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and go to the next page and scroll up. And there's the relationships, so you can see customers is related to the orders in a one-to-many relationship. You can take a look at the primary key and foreign key fields that are hooked up, and they've got the same names. And the attributes and force cascade updates, deletes. Oh, this is crazy. Just so much information. My head's going to explode. In any case, if you want to go ahead and print this off or email it off to somebody, you know, to print, just come up here and click on the big print button. And then to send this off, well, over in the data group, you can export this into an Excel spreadsheet. And reports don't do very well when it comes to exporting, at least for organization purposes. I don't like it, but you may find something useful there. Text to file, or let's do a PDF. Click on that. Opens it up. The data type is PDF. If you want XPS, then change it. Let's do PDF and go to the desktop. And, well, I'll leave the name as is. Click on publish. Opens it up in PDF. and great and then I can go ahead and email it from within here or what's well, on the desktop close and close out of here and let's close out of there and it's right there PDF we can go ahead and open up our Outlook program attach that to an email and send it off and if you don't know anything about Outlook hey great segue go ahead and watch my Outlook 2016 training videos it comes with Office and so if you bought Office I mean hey why not let's learn more about it Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.